Today Foster and I are at one of Foster's favorite art galleries, Hollyhocks, which is located at 905 Linden Road, right next to Elliott's Restaurant. The owner of Hollyhocks is Jane Casnelli, and we are going to pay her a little visit. Jane is a self-taught artist. The creative process has always played an important part in Jane's life. However, it wasn't until she moved to Pinehurst with her husband, Gene, that it all began to devote time to oil painting. Ultimately, she opened Hollyhock's Art Gallery over 10 years ago. Let's go check it out. Come on, Foster. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you call the gallery Hollyhocks and why you opened it in the first place? Well, I think Hollyhocks because uh, growing up in England, we very much are in tune with nature, we love gardening, and Hollyhocks grow everywhere, in the hedgerows, villages, everything. And I just was trying to come up with something that would be useful, and Hollyhocks seemed to work for me. Perfect, and then why a gallery? What was what you gallery? Well, I, when I moved here 20 years ago, I did not pay attention. Okay, not on the horse. But when you retire, you tend to find things you enjoy doing, and painting was one of them, and buying a horse was another. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad you got to accomplish both those goals. I know. It's wonderful what happens when you get old. <laughs> but uh, the gallery just came along. I was lucky. I started writing with a friend, another local artist, Jesse McKay. Okay. We opened the gallery together, and when I left there, the previous owner was building Jean Grantham. Called me up and said, would you like space? I'm trying to download, uh, download, downsize. And I said, sure, because I lived next door almost at my mom, and that was probably over 15 years ago. Wow. Before even Mark was on the screen. Wow, that's great. Well, let's go look at some of the, the paintings. Okay, let's do it. Jane, one of the reasons this is Foster's favorite gallery is because you are famous for painting dogs and animals. Can you tell us a little bit about your love for doing that? Again, I think the English background in Europe were very fond of our animals, just as everyone here in some minds is. Uh, but I think as I started to paint all the different subjects, somehow I just leaned towards animals, and especially dogs, and a few horses, and I've tried a few cats. Um, and people started to recognize that. So it's become a really big part of my portfolio now, and I just love doing it. Well, that's wonderful. Foster, I think we need to get you painted. I think that's a great idea, Foster. <laughs> Jane, here at your gallery, we also see a lot of beautiful landscapes. Do you have a favorite country or a favorite city that you like to paint? I do. Uh, as a child, we went on holiday often to Italy and Spain and France, and uh, I think Italy is really my first love, although I did go to France, to Provence to paint a few years ago. Uh, but Italy, the colors, the food, the wines, the people, what's not to love, right? You gotta love all of that. And tell me a little bit, I see you also have a lot of different artist features here. Can you tell me a little bit about those artists? Certainly. Uh, this is artist here is Charlie Robbins. He's from um, South Carolina. Okay. And uh, I feature different artists. Uh, right currently, right now, we have about four, three, and one photographer. And Charlie's wonderful with the local golf. Beautiful. Also, low country. Okay. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. Well, thank you again so much today. We oh, really God. appreciate it. Foster and I will definitely come back to get, that, so. to get that painting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, Foster? Yeah.